Hi, my name's Jack, and I'm a secret quilter. Hi, Jack. I, I don't even know where to start. Just start from the beginning, Jack. I've been quilting for about five years now, and my wife doesn't know about it. At first, I was ashamed at how much I really enjoyed quilting, but now I'm at a point where I'd rather spend time at my sewing machine than at my saw. How do you keep your stash hidden from your wife? Because no matter what I do, I might just show up out of nowhere. I keep it in my tool chest. She never looks there. Jack, which toolbox is the hammer in? Does anyone have anything else for Jack? Yeah. Jack, I completely understand what you're going through. My wife thinks I go bowling on Thursday night still, and I hate bowling. All right, honey, off to bowling night with the guys. Hi, back. But I just don't know how I'm going to tell my wife and kids that instead of going to the bowling alley, I'm going to the quilt guild meetings. We'd all like to thank Dave for his honesty and integrity for being true to himself. Thanks, Thanks Dave. Dave. Is there anyone else who'd like to share with us tonight? I've been having a lot of problems recently. Seems no matter what I do, my top thread keeps breaking. Tyler, tell us more. I'm using a 40 weight cotton thread. My attention set at five. Uh, I'm using a size 80 needle and it just shreds. Does anybody have any advice for Tyler? Yeah, I do. You gotta use a 9014 top stitch needle, especially titanium coated. It'll reduce the friction on the thread so great. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Tyler. Tyler. As a special presentation tonight, I thought I would share my personal story. It all started when my wife left for the weekend and I tore my favorite blanket. I jumped online and started watching tutorials. Five hours later, I was still watching videos. I tried to fit in quilting anywhere I went. I modified my car and hardwired a sewing machine so that I could truly sew on the go. I told my wife that the extra pedal in the car was the turbo drive and not to press down on it. It turns out that sewing while driving was a little too distracting. I just couldn't keep my seams straight. I met a guy who supplied the best stuff around, Egyptian grown extra long staple cotton. This thread had virtually no lint and was so smooth in my machine. After a while, people started noticing my improvements and urging me to enter my quilts. And then it happened. I got caught. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Um, me? Th this? This is reverse engineering this power tool. Are you quilting? Um, no. Are those feathers? These? Maybe? You're better at this than me. You should learn how to quilt. Really? Wow. Does your wife still support you even though she knows how serious you're in? Support me? She taught me trapunto last week. 